welcome back to part two of us sending it down the creek in the Gen 2 and the Gen 1 Seaforce 500. Now, Joel's going to be on my Gen 1. I'm going to take his Gen 2 and I'm going to try to keep up with him. It don't matter what you put me on. If I'm racing against Joel, I'm going to struggle to keep up. But I'll do my best and get you some awesome action. So, in part one, if you missed it, you need to go see it. But this time... We're going against the current, so that makes a big difference. And uh, so, I don't know, here we go, let's do it. Oh, this thing is so much more comfortable, oh my goodness. Hey, you know about your uh, garage? Okay. Okay, boys, I'm gonna stand up, try to stay above the, uh... oh my goodness. I'm going to stand up above the spray, try to keep the camera as dry as possible, but we're going to send it so the camera is going to get wet, but hang on, you'll see some awesome stuff. Let's get it. is a million times better on this. It feels like to run over a car. That one would be crazy. Yeah. Wow.
<laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hey, we made it. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Dude, let me take this helmet off. This is part two, so in part one, I drove the Gen 1, which is mine. I just drove the Gen 2, and dude, it's night and day. This thing is night and day. I absolutely love it. Uh, okay, I gotta figure out how to buy one. <laughs> in the next video, you'll have one. <laughs> yeah, coming up next on Real Talk Power Sports, Blake gets a Gen 2. No, I don't know. I, my wife, I done talked to her. We'll see. I have to do some more sweet talking. But anyways, guys, just, I guess this is a testament of the direction that CF Moto is going. They're constantly improving their machines across the lineup. And the, they had the Gen 1 for years, man. This has been around forever. But the Gen 2, oh my goodness. That thing, like the turning radius, the suspension, like things that I was having to hold on tight for this one and embrace for impact wasn't near what it was on here. Now, now I will say this, I do have to give the Gen 1 a break. The, the Zillas are... Yeah, they cut through that water way better. Yeah, yeah. So, so you notice we're running skinnies. Is that skinnies all the way around? Yeah. So it cuts through the water better. The ground clearance is way more on this one than on this one. Uh, but these wider tires, these are way heavier tires. They're much harsher tires, super stiff. These have a lot of give in them. So that does help and play in the suspension forgiveness that I was feeling. But we've already tested this one stock and we've tested one of these stock and this is still night and day. The turning radius is way better. The cooling capacity, absolutely no heat on your legs on the Gen 2. The suspension travel, hands down, much better. But uh, yeah, so anyways, so I, you know, I'm a Gen 1 owner and to all you Gen 1 owners, just keep taking care of your Gen 1, but eventually you're gonna want a Gen 2. <laughs> because i do but anyways i hope y'all enjoyed this one guys uh we've got a lot more videos in store for you so make sure you subscribe give the video a thumbs up make sure you comment down in the comment section that helps us tremendously and uh yeah stay tuned till next time god bless you as always remember to keep it real mainstreetcycle.com is the place to go go check it out and you'll see why bye bye <laughs>